Welcome to LA, where the sweetest things come in pink boxes. Because pink boxes are filled with donuts. Buy a box for yourself or share with a friend. LA is the place for this pretty pink trend. So let's dive into history and a bowl full of batter. This is why donut boxes are pink and why that matters. Ted No, aka the Donut King, was one of the first Cambodian refugees to own a donut shop. He and his business partner Ning Yen, who both trained at Winchell's Donuts together, are responsible for helping many Cambodian refugees set up successful businesses in California. This is Yen's family. They purchased Mag's Donuts in 1980 and have owned it ever since. Through the creation of their donut supply distribution business and box manufacturing plant, they were able to cultivate a community of Cambodian bakery owners and better control the cost of mixes, ingredients, and even boxes. Legend has it that before the Yen family came along, donut boxes were traditionally white, but white didn't work for two reasons. It was expensive and, in Chinese culture, is the color of death. So Ning Yen suggested switching the boxes to red. The mill kept sending a pink color instead. But it turned out that the new hue would bring happiness and good luck at a fraction of the cost. Today, Moon is keeping the pink box trend strong. First, the paper arrives at the factory from a paper mill on large rolls. The paper is spooled through a cutter. The blade then cuts the paper into individual rectangles. Then, the paper is rolled out onto a pallet. There are approximately 2,500 sheets per pallet. The pallet of pink is taken to the die cutting machine. With a high powered suction, each piece of paper is selected and pushed through the machine. 100% recycled paper is used for the pink boxes LA has come to know and love. When the boxes arrive at the shop, they're ready to be built and filled with sugary delights, all made by the matriarch of the family, Yin Yen. Cake donut mix is mixed with water to make a loose consistency. It's mixed for a minute and a half on medium speed. The batter is scooped and placed into another bowl, which is then poured into a machine that spits out the perfect sized donuts. The dough is cranked into the oil. Each donut takes about two minutes on each side to fry. The hot donuts are taken out and placed on a cooling tray for about two minutes. Once cooled, they're ready to be dressed up and decorated. Or left plain, if that's what you're into. The frosting is spread out in a sheet pan, and then the donuts are placed face down so their faces are totally covered. Next comes the sprinkles. Once the donuts are prepared, they're placed out for customers. The hot ones usually go fast. At Mag's, some of the best sellers are the classic glazed, blueberry cake and white sprinkles, custard, and fresh cream filled donuts. Is it the cake or the glaze that makes your heart skip a beat? Whichever you choose, I hope the box is pretty and pink. A rosy, sweet, lucky little trend. All thanks to Mr. Noi and Yen. How many can you eat at once? Tell us in the comments below.
Thanks for watching How Donuts Are Made. For more videos, click here. To subscribe, click here.